Hello, kids. How are you today? Well, are you ready to begin studying again with reading for vocabulary? We're on unit three now, and we're talking about pets, right? In this、uh, unit, it's called caring for animals. So, what animals do we care for? Usually, our pets. The、uh, lesson title is "Your Dog, the Celebrity." Remember, a few lessons ago, we learned that celebrity is a very famous person. Is your pet a famous person or famous? Yes, it's famous to you. You think about your pet a lot, right? So that's kind of an interesting title. We're going to focus on, though, in this lesson, how to train your dog. Because if you train your dog well, maybe your dog can become a celebrity to many other people as well, and can win a dog show. We'll read about that later. But before we get into the reading, of course, we need to study some vocabulary words. So let's begin. The first word that we're going to look at here is the word that means to give a gift for doing a good job. So, if someone gives either a dog or you or your friend, if they do a good job, if you do a good job, your parents might do something, your teacher might do something. They will give you some kind of gift, right? It could be time, like okay, you can play a video game for two hours. After you finish your homework, good job. Okay, now you can play video games, or you can go play with your friends. What is that? It's a reward. So, people will give you a reward for doing a good job. You can give your dog or your pet a reward for doing a good job. That's reward. How about number two? Special delicious food. Mmm, looks good, right? Mushy soil. <laughs> But be careful, don't eat too much. Of course, we're talking about treat. This looks like candy, and yes, candy is a type of treat. But there are many types of treats. For example, if you really like fruit, strawberries can be a treat. Ice cream is a treat. Your favorite、uh, food can be a treat. Mom says, "Oh, you did a good job. We'll give you a treat today," and she gives you your favorite sandwich for lunch. Right? All these things are treats. Okay, next one. The ability to stay calm. Sometimes we want to get really angry, right? All、oh, things really make us so so angry. But the ability to stay calm when you get angry is very good, and this ability is called patience. Patience, very important. It's a very good ability. To have so work on your patience. Next time, don't get angry. Think, okay, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. So be patient. Have patience. Okay. So it's a good ability to have. Work on that. Practice that. Very important. Okay. Next one is how one follows rules. This boy's like, oh, do I have to follow the rules, right? Do I have to always behave correctly? And that's our word, really. Behavior. Behavior is the noun. Behave is the verb. To behave. To behave. So your mother will tell you, please behave. Have good behavior. Follow the rules. Okay. Next one. Number five, someone whom others follow. Usually in a group, there's one person who takes charge, and everybody follows that person. We call that person the leader. So in every group, there is one leader and many followers, right? And sometimes people will ask you, "Are you a leader or a follower?" Right? Do you lead your group? Or do you follow the leader in your group? So really, there's but there's only one leader. Remember, there can be many followers. Okay, next one. An answer to a problem. The answer to a problem. If you have a, a this looks like a, a a word problem or a crossword problem, some kind of puzzle, right? What is the solution? What's the solution to the problem? And problem can be <clears throat> many types of things. 
not just a puzzle in a book, but a problem can be like in your life. You have a problem. What do I do? I need some advice. Somebody might give you some good advice that is the solution to your problem. It will solve your problem. It will solve your problem. So the solution will solve your problem. Okay, next one. Being trustworthy and honest to another. If you are trustworthy, if you trust somebody and you are honest to that person, and even if they do something that you think is not good or maybe they hurt you a little bit, but you say, no, I forgive them and I will continue to help them and be honest with them, then you are loyal. Okay, everybody makes mistakes, right? So if you can forgive that person, maybe they made an honest mistake, but don't give up on that person. Be loyal. Dogs are very loyal to their masters, right? Dogs will follow and they will trust and they will, you know, dogs will be honest, I guess, to their owners because they're loyal. They will follow their owners. Dogs are very loyal. Okay, next one. Simple and necessary. Something that's simple and necessary, what could that word be? We're talking about basic. Something that's very basic. Basic means easy, right? When you go to school, you go to elementary school first. That's basic. You learn the basic skills, reading, writing, and doing math, arithmetic. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. So we learn the basic skills, the first or simple skills. Simple but necessary. You need to learn the basic skills in order to advance and become better at something. Okay, next one. <clears throat> oh, them saying up by all right. <laughs> to get rid of solid waste from your body. Bloop, right? In Korean, I think you say dong, right? Uh, be careful, Joshim Hill, right? If you have a dog in your apartment, oh, you can step in the what? In the poop in the poop, Ugh, and it's on your foot, oh, no then you have to wash it off, right? By the way, this is poop, another one uh, where the doggy goes to the bathroom, but it's like water, I think you say, ojum, 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 yeah, ojum, then you say, pee, so pee and poop, well, actually, by the way, people will also say poo, right? Pee and poo. Sometimes people will say poop also. It's just, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You can say poo or poop, doesn't matter. Pee usually is just pee, okay? Very interesting lesson here, right? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so a couple of things you have to be careful of, especially when you have a pet. You get up in the morning, you're going to the bathroom and, oh, oh no, did you step and pee or did you step and poo? Mm. Okay, then you have to say to the dog, hey, go to the bathroom in the right place. Okay, next one. Trash. This is just another word for trash. There's many different words for trash, and that is another one is garbage. Be careful. Sometimes people will say waste, but waste is not so commonly used for the things that you throw away from your house, right? In your house, you have garbage. Mom will say, take out the garbage throw away the garbage. She could also say, throw away the trash. She would never say, throw away the waste. No, waste is usually used when we're talking about a factory or industry or like pollution. We don't usually use waste when we're talking about the garbage in our houses or in our classroom, right? Waste is usually things that are, that are uh, left over or things that are uh, not used or just thrown away on a big scale, like industrial scale in a factory. In our houses, we say garbage or trash. And you could say like hujitong, right? We can say trash can or garbage can. We don't say waste, well, but some people say waste, waste paper can or waste bin, that's possible, but it's common to say trash can or garbage can or bin. Okay, next one. 11. To honor and look up to. If you honor somebody and look up to that person, what are you doing? You respect that person. Okay, respect can be a verb, it can also be a noun. That's a V. Sorry about that. That's a V. So verb and noun. You can have respect for someone and you can respect someone. So as a verb, I respect you. As a noun, I have respect for you. 
Okay, so respect can be a verb or a noun. Next one. To try, oh, whoa, this is kind of cool. Whoa, look at that cat, yeah, right? He's, what is this cat doing? And this cat is like, whoa, watch out. This cat is trying to harm. Of course, they're just playing, right? Cats are very cute, cute, right, when they're playing. So this cat is attacking, attack, right? Of course, you probably know attack from playing video games, right? A lot of video games, you attack the other team or the other player. Okay, next one. To not pay attention to. She looks upset, right? She's not happy with him, right? And he's sorry. He's like saying, I'm sorry. But she's not happy. She doesn't want to talk to him. What is she doing? She is ignoring him. To ignore somebody. Sometimes when you're angry with your friends, you ignore them, right? Because you're angry. But be patient, right? Be patient. Listen to them. Try to forgive them. Okay, what did they do? But by the way, this is interesting. She turned her back on. So the expression is turn someone's back on another person. So she turned her back on him. That's a good expression to use. In fact, if you watch The Lion King, it's kind of an old movie, but it's a great movie. There's a good scene in there where Scar, the evil lion, walks away from Mufasa, right? And Mufasa says, don't turn your back on me, right? And that's a very interesting uh, I I expression, right? Don't turn your back on me. Don't ignore me. So it's a good idiom. Okay, next one. Whoa, this guy looks really weird, <laughs> looks strange. He's mad. Another word for mad is angry, right? We already uh, talked about that, right? When I was talking about patience, right? It's very easy to get very angry at something. But the, another word for angry is mad. But be careful. Americans say mad is the same as angry. That's American. American English. If you're British, usually British people will say mad is the same as crazy, right? Michisoyo, right? Crazy. Oh, he's mad. So a British person, if a British person says, oh, he's mad, it means he's crazy. But if an American person say, says he's mad, it means he's angry. Okay, so be careful. There's difference between American English and British English on several, several uh, ways, and this is one of them. Okay, a room with a toilet, sink, and usually a shower or bath. Okay, of course, you go to this place every morning, right? You, you, you go poo there, <laughs> you pee there, okay? But be careful using poo and pee. Usually people say, you go to the bathroom in this room. You take a shower in this room. You brush your teeth in this room. What is it? Of course, it's the bathroom. And of course, because there's a bath there, that's the important thing, it's the bathroom. Okay, next one, being afraid. <laughs> Who likes to go to the dentist? Ugh, I don't like to go to the dentist. Ugh. So we might be scared of the dentist. We're scared of the dentist. We're afraid of the dentist, right? Uh, hopefully your dentist is good and doesn't make you scared. But uh, don't worry, you need to go to the dentist many times in your life. Next one. Okay, let's talk about the review. Okay, let's see how well we remember these words. Our instructions are choose the word that best completes the sentence. Here are our words down here, and here are blanks. And you'll notice we're skipping all the even numbers. So we're just gonna do one, three, five, seven. Okay, so we'll just do four. Okay, so number one, John is a beep friend. He would never lie to me. So think about that word again. Um, Somebody who is honest and trustworthy. You can depend on them. What word did we learn that means that? Okay, loyal, bad, basic, or new? Well, if you remember, we said loyal. Loyal friend is a person who never lies to you. It's somebody who uh, you can trust and who is always honest to you. Lie is the opposite of honest, right? So if somebody is loyal to you, they are always honest with you. They are loyal. They won't lie to you. They won't uh, uh, do something to hurt you, okay? They are loyal. Okay, number three. The teacher will beep us with a pizza party, but only if we do well on the test. So. We got a couple things here, right? We have one thing is pizza party. A pizza party 
That's a great thing, right? Yay! We're very happy to get a pizza party. That's something very good. But we only get it if, if, what we do well on the test. If we do a good job on the test, the teacher will do something, right? What word did we learn that means something like that? The teacher will give us a gift if we do a good job. What word means that? A train. B, reward, C, inform, and D, let. And of course, they're all verbs because only a verb will fit in here after will. So, train, reward, inform, or let. Of course, you remember the word is reward. The teacher will reward us because if we do a good job, we do well on the test, the teacher will reward us. What is the reward? A pizza party, yay! Not train, not inform, not let, those don't fit. The best word is reward. Okay, next one. Number five. Fighting and lying are bad what? Okay, now think about it. Uh, the rules at school, think about the rules at school or the rules at your home. Are you allowed to fight and to lie at home? No. That's against the rules at home. In school, are you allowed to fight your classmates or lie to your teacher? No, that's against the rules of the school. So behavior that is against the rules of something, okay, I just said the answer there, right? Is like fighting and lying. Is it A, patience, B, problem, C, behavior, or D, tricks, right? I just said behavior, right? Fighting and lying are bad behavior. It's against the rules of a certain place. That's what we talked about before. It's not bad patience. That doesn't make sense. Bad problem. Fighting and lying are bad problems, right? You could do that, but remember you have to have S at the end of that. Fighting and lying are bad tricks. That's Yi Sung Hale. Uh, it's best to say fighting and lying are bad behavior. That's the best answer there. Okay, number seven. The new team, beep, is very strong, okay? So the new team what? Remember on a team, there are many people, right? And who are those people? A lot of those people are followers, but there's one person in that group who's going to do what? Uh, a, homework, B, trick, C, treat, or D, leader, okay? So think about that. Which word makes sense here? The new team homework? Doesn't make sense. The new team trick? That doesn't fit. The new team treat, that doesn't make any sense at all. The new team leader, ah, that's the only one that makes sense, right? So that must be the answer. The new team leader is very strong, right? So the leader of the team is a strong person, so that team is probably also pretty strong. You gotta be careful. Okay, well, that wraps up the vocabulary section of the lesson. Let's take a short break and go to the reading. Okay, welcome back. Are you ready to learn about dogs and how to train your dog? We're going to talk about your dog, the celebrity. We're, this passage is about your dog and how to train your dog so that your dog will act in the right way. So the first part is a little bit about dogs, describing dogs, good points about dogs. Let's read together. Dogs are great. They are friendly, loyal, and smart. You can play with them and they will love you. They are man's best friend. So that's true, right? Dogs are great. In fact, I have a dog. It looks very much like this dog. It's a beagle, right? We call her Gaul after fall because we got her in the fall. And she's, she's friendly, she's loyal, and she's pretty smart, right? We can play with her. She loves us. They're man's best friend. This is a common expression that people will use when they describe dogs. Dogs are man's best friend because they'll always be your friend, right? They trust you, they depend on you, and they will always uh, love you. So they are man's best friend. Those are good points about dogs. But like everything, there are bad points also. And that's what we're talking about in the next part here. Let's read together. Until they poop on your rug. Oh no or eat your garbage. Then dogs aren't so great. A bad dog can be a big problem, but there is a solution. Train your dog well. Okay, and this is true, right? Uh, our dog will poo 
on the floor, not where she's supposed to, right? We have to train her. She's pretty good. We've trained her to pee in the right place. She will always pee in that place. That's good. But sometimes we have a surprise when we're walking around at night or early in the morning. Sometimes we'll step in her poo. Oh, because she doesn't poo in the right place. She poops on the rug. Sometimes she eats the garbage. Actually, last night our dog broke a dish, right? She grabbed something from the table, we weren't looking, and she, it smashed on the ground, and she was trying to eat the mandu in the dish, right? She really likes it. So we were very angry with her. We had to, we had to uh, uh, tell her no. Okay, then of course, in those situations, dogs aren't so great. They make us angry, right? A bad dog can be a big problem. If you allow your dog to do these types of behaviors and you don't say no, then the dog will become a big problem and you can't control your dog. There is a solution, right? There is a solution to that problem. Train your dog well. So you need to train it. You need to teach it how to behave properly. Okay, let's read on. How do we do that? Well, training starts when your dog is a puppy. In the wild, dogs live in groups called packs. There is one leader in each pack. And this is very interesting. If you think about it, all dogs in the world are descended from wolves. Okay, And wolves in the wild run in packs. And in every wolf pack, there is one leader. He's called the alpha the alpha male. And all the other uh, wolves in that pack will follow the alpha male. The alpha male, that's, he's a strong uh, leader in the pack. He's very strong, okay? So um, that's natural. That's like in nature, that's natural. And when puppies are born, they know who the leader is. So you have to train your dog when it's very young, when it's a puppy, when it's like a child. And that's the same with human beings too, right? Parents teach their children when they're children, right? You don't teach a child when that child's 15 years old, right? You don't start teaching them how to behave. You teach the child to behave as soon as that a child can start walking and talking, right? Because we need to make sure they learn these things early on in life, okay? so. You need to show your puppy that you are the leader, right? You're the alpha male or you're the alpha wolf in your pack, in your family. Your dog must respect you, right? You don't need to hurt the dog. Don't hurt the dog. That's, that's not good, right? That's, that won't solve the problem. Just show it that you are stronger. So you just need to show your dog that you are stronger than it, right? Just hold it down or make sure that it stays uh, uh, when you tell it to stay and have patience, right? But you can be strong with your dog while loving your dog, right? So you just need to show that you're the leader. You are the leader of the dog. The dog should follow what you say, right? Don't hurt the dog, right? Don't hit them uh, hard or anything. Just show that you're stronger than the dog. After your dog respects you, you can teach it important behavior. It should know a few basic things. Only go to the bathroom outside. Or if you don't have outside, go to the bathroom in a special place in your own bathroom or on your balcony in your apartment, right? But the first thing, very important, is to get the respect of your dog. And that's what you should do first when the dog is a puppy. Show the dog that you are the leader. Then the dog will respect you. If you're not strong with your dog and your dog just thinks, you know, you're just somebody to play with, they won't respect you. You have to make sure that the dog respects you. But again, do it with love. After the dog respects you, then you can start teaching it important behavior. For example, it should know a few basic things. You should start teaching your dog the basic things. For example, where to go to the bathroom go to the bathroom outside, or go to the bathroom on the balcony, or go to the bathroom in the special plastic pad where you go pee, right? This is where you go to the bathroom. That's the first thing that people teach or uh, teach their dogs to train it to go to the bathroom in the right place. That's the first thing. 
Okay, let's take a look at a video. Now, before we were talking about teaching your dog basic things, this is not basic. This is very complicated. So after you've taught your dog the basic things and your dog's very good, maybe you can teach that, wow, look at that. That's really impressive. Uh, the dog was going through those things in the right way, right? Right, left, right, left, right, left. Very smart dog, right? So this owner trained their dog very well, right? To do all these different things, okay? That's not basic, right? That's complicated. But we probably, not a lot of people will train their dog like this. This is very complicated. Most of us will train our dog in the basic ways, where to go to the bathroom and things like that. Okay, well, these are some basic things that we're going to teach your dog. Before we get into those complicated things, what are some more basic things we need to teach your dog? Well, here we have come when you call its name and sit when you say sit. This part is easy, right? That's basic. You just need patience and dog treats. Okay, so two more basic things we need to teach your dog. Very important, come. Teach your dog come. That means you say to the dog, hey, Come, come here, come here. And they should come. That's very important. Sit, when you say sit, when you say sit, then they should sit down. Now, usually our dog is pretty good like that. But if we're going somewhere, if we're taking on a walk and she's off the leash running around the grass, we say sit, she usually runs away. So we still have to work on that. <laughs> Okay, so that's a problem. This part is easy. Sometimes it's easy. You need patience and dog treats. Of course, if we have food in our hand and we say sit, she always sits. She obeys very well when we have food in our hand. So you need to be patient and you need to have treats, like some kind of food that your dog likes. When your dog does a good thing, <clears throat> give it a treat. If it does a bad thing, ignore it or act like you are angry. Hitting a dog does not help, okay? That's what happened last night. Last night I told you our dog broke a dish trying to eat the mandu. So we didn't hit the dog, but we were very angry. We told her no, and then we pushed her out of the room, and we just ignored the dog for a while. She knew we were angry with her, so she has to learn, look, you can't do that. You can't pull things off the table like that. So. But when she does a good thing, right, if we say sit or if we say uh, come here or she does something right, then we reward her. You, you shouldn't always give her a treat, though, if she goes to the bathroom in the right place because then she always expects a treat. But if she goes to the bathroom in the right place, you say, oh, good dog, and you pet her and, and scratch her behind the ears and say, oh, good dog, you did a good job, right? But if she does a bad thing, then ignore her the dog, right? Just say bad dog and just ignore your dog for half an hour or so until they understand that, you know, you're angry with them. They shouldn't have done that. But hitting a dog does not help. It's not good to hit the dog, okay? Why? Because if you hit the dog, the dog will become scared and might attack people later. It's better to reward good behavior. So this is kind of continuing. Don't hit the dog, right? That's not a good idea. Why? Because the dog will become scared of you and it might also attack people later. Because if you hit the dog, the dog will not trust people, especially strangers. And the dog might attack other people later. So don't hit your dog. Okay, it's better, much better to reward good behavior. When your dog does something good, reward it. When it does something bad, ignore it, or you know, you can, you can uh, scold it, you can say, no, bad dog, and then ignore the dog for a while. So they learn. And that's very cute, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> they're gonna have a good relationship growing up. Okay, does your dog behave well now? Then it's time for the fun stuff. For the fun stuff. Dogs are smart. They can learn many tricks and skills. You can teach your dog how to roll over or shake hands or even how to play dead. Okay, so what is this talking about here? This is after the basics, right? So if your dog behaves well now, your dog behaves. They go to the bathroom in the right place. They come when you call it. They sit when you say sit. They're they have a good behavior and they respect you. They obey you. Then it's time for the fun stuff. Fun stuff? What kind of fun stuff? Well, you can teach your dog many tricks because dogs are smart. Now you can teach them 
not basic tricks, but fun tricks. For example, you can teach your dog how to roll over, right? And we've done that with our dog, right? We'll have a treat, we'll say, roll over, roll over, and the dog will roll over on her back and back onto the front because we've trained her to do that. We can tra train her to shake hands. So we say, shake hands, and the dog will lift her paw and we can shake the hands. We can even teach the dog high five. So we say, high five, and the dog will put her paw on our hand and then we give the treat. So we can have fun uh, teaching the dog. Or even how to play dead. We didn't do that, but some people do that. They'll say, come here, uh, you know, spot or whatever. Say, okay, bang, and the dog will go, ooh, and they'll just lay down. <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny. And then you give the treat. So play dead is another trick, a very common trick that people will, treat, will teach their dogs. So of course, roll over, uh, shake hands, sometimes high five, and also play dead, right? Those are fun tricks that people will teach their dogs how to do. Maybe your dog will be so smart that it can win a dog show. Now this is really advanced, right? The most well-trained dogs compete in shows. The winners get fame and money. Train your dog well and it can be a star. This comes to the title, your dog the celebrity. So if your dog is really smart, if your dog really, you can really train your dog well, maybe your dog is so smart that and then result, right? We see that construction again. So adjective that and then the result. So smart that it can win a dog show. So handsome that all the girls look at him, right? So adjective that and then result. Common uh, construction. So maybe your dog is so smart that it can win a dog show. And that's the video that we saw. The most well-trained dogs compete in shows. They compete to win the shows, and they're very well-trained. The winners get fame. Fame means they become famous. All the other dog owners uh, know the dog. By the way, this is a very cute picture, isn't it? These two dogs are holding the bar in their teeth, and the uh, German Shepherd is jumping over the bar. That's a very cute picture. Okay. Also, the, dogs, the dog doesn't get the money. Dogs don't know about money, but the owner will get the money. Of course, the owner will also get fame, right? Train your dog well, and it can be a star. Your dog can be a star in the show, right? And they can be the celebrity. Okay. So, let's talk about what this story was about. Uh, let's uh, and do some more comprehension questions, okay? Of course, the first question is always, what is the general topic? What is this whole story about? This story is about what? A, good dogs, B, training dogs, C, rewarding dogs, and D, bad dogs. Right away we can see that A and D are opposites, right? Good dogs, bad dogs. But this story wasn't really about either one. It wasn't really about good dogs or bad dogs. It was more about how to teach your dog, how to train your dog, wasn't it? B is the answer. Right? C, rewarding dogs, was just part. It's part of how to train your dog. Okay? So this passage isn't about good dogs or bad dogs. Right? It did talk about good points of dogs and it talked about bad points of dogs, but that wasn't the focus. That wasn't the topic, uh, the purpose of the reading passage. The purpose of the reading passage was to tell us how to train dogs and, and what uh, we can do if we train dogs well, right? Dogs can even win shows, okay? Rewarding dogs was just one part or uh, a small part of that overall topic. Okay, let's move on to number two. A well-trained dog will what? So that was near the end of the reading passage. What, what did we uh, hear here? A well-trained dog will A, eat the garbage, B, respect you, C, poop on the rug, D, sit when you say come. Okay, so only one of these things makes sense. Three of the other things are incorrect. They're not correct logically. A well-trained dog eats the garbage? No, because that's bad behavior, right? A poorly trained dog will eat the garbage. A well-trained dog will poop on the rug? That's also bad behavior. Pooping on the rug is bad behavior. Sit when you say come, 
that, be careful, that's a little tricky. You're saying come, not sit, right? Your dog should be able to know the difference, right? So they shouldn't sit when you say come, that's not being well trained, right? That's getting confused, right? The only answer left for us that makes sense, a well-trained dog will respect you, and that's the answer. A well-trained dog will respect you because it's been trained well. Okay, next one, number three. You make a dog respect you by, how do you make a dog respect you? Do you live in a pack? Do you reward bad behavior? Do you hurt it? C, uh, D, D, are you, are, well, being strong uh, is the other option, okay? So, let's live in a pack. So if we want our dog to respect us, we should live in a pack. Well, that's kind of strange, that's weird. We, shouldn't, we don't have to live in a, in a wolf pack, right? That's weird. Uh, we should reward bad behavior? No, you don't reward bad behavior. That will make your dog really uh, uh, not a good dog and they won't respect you, right? They think they can do anything that they, they want to. You can make a dog respect you by hurting it? No, we've talked about that before. Don't hurt your dog, that's not a good idea. It will become scared of you and it might attack other people, right? You can make a dog respect you by being strong. That's it. All you have to do is be strong, be firm, be patient with your dog. Show your dog that you're the leader, okay? You don't have to hurt the dog, you just have to be strong, firm with the dog. Be patient, uh, you know, uh, make the dog do what you want to do by being patient, by being strong. You can put your hand on your dog and you can push their, their uh, back down if you want to make them sit, that's fine. Or you can just hold them where you want them to stay for a while, but just be patient and show them that you are the leader. You're the leader of your dog and they should follow you. If you don't, then your dog will behave badly. Okay, number four. A good way to reward your dog is to what? A, ignore it, B, give it treats, C, show it your anger, or D, hit it. So how should we reward your dog? Should we ignore it? That's not rewarding the dog, that's punishing the dog. B, treats, ah, we give it something. You give something to somebody for doing a good job, that's a reward. B is the answer, right? Is to, a good way to reward your dog is to give it treats. C, show it your anger, no, that's not reward, that's again, that's punishment. Hit it, no, we should not hit our dogs, right? And that's certainly not a good way to reward your dog, that's a way to punish your dog, but again, don't hit your dog, right? Uh, especially not hard. You might hit them slightly, right, on the butt uh, if you want them to sit down, but don't hit your dog hard. Don't hurt your dog, okay? So the best answer is a good way to reward your dog is to give it treats, okay? Okay, well that about wraps up the lesson. If you do have a dog, I hope that you enjoyed this, this lesson. Even if you don't have a dog, maybe you'll have a dog in the future. These are good ideas uh, to remember uh, to train your dog to respect you and to love you and to obey you. Of course, uh, having a bad dog is a big problem. It's important that if you do have a pet, whether you're young or when you get older and your kids want a dog, remember, treat your dog with respect, but make sure that your dog respects you too. And you can train your dog and have fun with your dog. Okay, well that about wraps it up. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.